President Biden, colleagues, it is a great pleasure to be at this second global COVID-19 summit. I would like to thank President Biden and all the organizers for hosting this important meeting. The development of effective vaccines and the organization of successful vaccination campaigns have marked a turning point in the fight against pandemia. In many of our countries, we have removed the restrictions, reopened schools, restarted the economy. We have saved lives and we have returned to a normal life. But as we know all too well, the pandemic is not over. Since the start of the year, we've had an average of 1.7 million COVID-19 cases a day worldwide. We're still behind our shared objective of vaccinating 70% of the population in all countries by mid-2022. The vaccination gap is closing, but the coverage rate in some countries remains below 10%. Italy has already contributed to the multilateral response to the pandemic with 445 million euros and has already pledged 69.7 million doses via COVAX. Today, I can announce that Italy will donate an additional 31 million doses through COVAX, and we are also pledging 200 million euros via the ACT accelerator and in order to strengthen global preparedness. Italy's G20 presidency has launched a joint finance health task force to explore a new facility to fund pandemic prevention, preparedness, and response. It is essential to achieve a broad consensus on an inclusive facility with the WHO at its center in order to ensure its effective implementation and a broad-based financing. Italy is strongly committed to ending this pandemic and to preventing future ones. We stand ready to continue working together with urgency and determination. Thank you.